Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Jay Artiz, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. As the Lions and the Demons split the first two games of this series, and the Lions will be going for the series on Sunday. Let's check out the Sunday box score. Here we go on a Sunday, and Lions take another series. Lions beat Northwestern 4-2, to two, win the series. Matt Pateri did a great job coming in, getting a win. Jason Greenleaf, three in his pitch, only one hit, no runs, very good, and gave it over to Lopez for 16th save of the year and 27th career. Southeastern won his 30th ball game, six straight years with 30 wins. Coach, your team wins the series, big victory on Sunday, very similar to Saturday's ball game, a 4-2 to two win, and uh, you take the series. I thought we were really good on Saturday on the mound, uh, excuse me, on Sunday on the mound. Buckman Alder was really good, went to the bullpen, and Matt Pateri came in in a crucial spot, gets a big out for us with two guys on, and Greenleaf was good, and then Lopez does what Lopez always does. Well, Coach, your club picks up their 30th victory of the year. It just pr seems like every year your team's going to win 30 games. I tell you, these guys have been very consistent. And this year, it's a big credit to our seniors, you know, losing as many guys we did last year to still have the productive season as we're having, a chance chasing another championship. These guys have done a great job. And the Pat Coach Artiz on the bat just a little bit. He uh, moved into second place all time here at Southeastern with his 231st victory as the Lions skipper. All right, now let's take a look at our Lion profile this week, and we're going to take a look at big Lion fan, Johnny Pecorero. Spring usually means two things for sure. One, fresh flowers are blooming, and two, college baseball is in full effect. And to one local Lion fan, both of those things are his life. Meet Johnny Pecorero, owner of Hammond Florist, and number one Lion fan. On any given day, you can find him at his shop in downtown Hammond. And on any given game night, you will find Johnny right there on the second row of Alumni Field, just inches away from the Lion dugout. Yes, I'm definitely a Lion baseball fan. Um, I don't know, I just, uh, being here at home again, Southeastern is great. You've got everything right here at your fingertips. So, um, Jay's a great coach for Southeastern. Uh, he makes it easy to be a Lion fan, to be honest with you. And they're great people. Jay's like a kid himself. He's one of us. You know, he, he fits right in. So, yeah, we definitely love the Lions and great supporter of them. Johnny has owned Hammond Floors for the last six years, but it was before that where Johnny made his mark. You see, Johnny has been fortunate enough to have worked with the White House of Washington, D.C. Johnny worked with the Reagan, Bush, Senior, and Clinton administration, implementing interior furnishings for the White House and United States Capitol. Last time Johnny did inventory in Washington, the U.S. Capitol had over 20,000 pieces of furniture. We will implement the furnishings, like give you an example, the, uh, like the Oval Office in the White House, those are our furnishings. The Oval Table, the Cabinet Room Chairs, I mean all the, uh, the reproductions in that office, even still today with Obama there, are you know, things that we implemented and put into the White House in those rooms. I was there through the Reagan administration, all the way through Bush Senior, all the way through the Clinton years, and it was a great you know, thing to be in. I never thought I would come back home to retire and be what I'm doing now back in the florist business where it all began years ago. But uh, yeah, it was great being in D.C. That's, that's something you can never take back, you know, when you, when you walk the halls of Congress and all that, you think, wow, how did I ever get here? You know, those were wonderful years, and um, they go by rather quick, but it's great being back home, you know, back where it all began. Johnny follows the Lions with a passion. Living just steps away from Alumni Field allows him to walk to games to cheer on the team. Johnny has become close friends with most of the team, and when they are in the on-deck circle, Johnny is usually giving them advice and encouragement. Um, it's a wonderful team uh, sitting right there. The, every game is absolutely wonderful. Um, again, it's just such a hometown feeling. I mean, you wonder how people can't come to the games here because it's absolutely great. So, um, again, you know, it's just being close with Rachel and Jay and the boys. They make it so personal as well. They're like family, and they make you feel that way. That's like with Jay with the kids on the team. I mean, they're, they're a wonderful group of boys, but, I mean, they, they think Jay's one of them, you know, and that, that's, that says a lot for the coach. Johnny is happy to be back where it all began for him, in Hammond, Louisiana, and he can't wait for the day when his Lions make it to the postseason. Well, it's not so much regional. I always tell Jay I'm not going to die until we go to Omaha. So uh, I would love the regionals, yes, but um, I'll live till we go to Omaha. Coach Johnny Pecorero, he, he's a guy that's always at the ballpark, and he's one of y'all's biggest fans. I tell you, Johnny's a big supporter of Southeastern and Southeastern baseball. It, it's great to see him in the stands almost every single game. It means a lot to our guys. And, I tell you, a lot of people in town don't realize that you know, this guy's worked in the White House for years. He's got a very successful business here in town with his florist, and, and I tell you, he's, he's a pleasure to have around. And I tell you, he's good to do business with, too. And anytime you give him a call and, and want to get some flowers for that special occasion, he can make it happen for you right there at Hammond Florist. All right, it's now time to take a look at the tip of the week with Coach JRTs. Hi, welcome to this week's tip of the week. This week, we want to demonstrate the inside pickoff move to second base. To help demonstrate that, I have junior right-hander Dylan Hills. 
you're going to see Dylan. We're going to start with coming to set position. Once he comes from the set position, he's good and balanced. His feet, 50-50 weight distribution on both feet. Then he's going to hard lift his leg up, start it down, then spin to second base and get in a good power position. Now we're going to see it one time live. As he comes set, good move, and he gets squared up. As you can see, when Dylan gets squared up, it's really important that he's lined up to make that throw to second. His shoulders, his hip, and his ankles, everything's lined up to second base in a good power position. This isn't a throw that just has to be made. If the pickoff moves there, you throw it. A good time to do that move is when you suspect and bunt, you want to read the hitter's hands, when you think Steele may be on, or when you see the base runner get in an early secondary, and you can catch him getting a second a little early and make the pickoff move. That is this week's Tip of the Week. Coach, on this week's Tip of the Week, we see Dylan Hills uh, showing us how to do the pickoff move to second. And uh, perfect timing as this week in game two, he picked someone off at second base, a big point of the ball game. Yeah, Dylan does a great job demonstrating how to pick off a second. You're right, it was a crucial time. He got a big pickoff for us this weekend. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the Southland Conference standings and give you a scout report for this weekend right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach JRTs, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. Mm -hmm. 